Omaha now has a record number of refugees in OPS schools. Good evening. I'm Brandi Peterson. I'm Robin Cartney. The district enrolled more than 2,000 this year, and that's a first. Now there's new programming for their parents, too. KETV News Watch 7's Chin Doan is live with a big story exclusive. I'm outside the Yates Community Center near 32nd and Davenport. Staff here say even with the refugee population doubling in size over the past five years, students are still getting the education they need. And now there's additional training to help their parents get jobs within the district. <laughs> Laughter, a universal language. But when it comes to English, Omaha Public Schools is teaching a record number of students. Young refugees like these make up more than 2,000 students in the district. Sing-alongs and pre-K classes at the Yates Community Center help with the transition. Where is the desk? Is this a desk? While parents and other refugee adults go to class upstairs. We're learning to write. We're learning to read. We're learning to talk. ATN ATN is from South Sudan hoping to become a teacher. Putting in the hours here is proving to be a successful stepping stone. Adieu, what do you have to play? Huh? What do you have to play? Oh, butterfly. You see, butterfly. A student turned volunteer, now a paraprofessional. Yeah. This refugee from Burma reflects on how far she's come. I'm moved to here. I have a job and I have a shelter to live. Etuhe is one of dozens who started at the Yates Center, then moved on to work for the district and beyond. Well, it started as parents coming here to learn English, and then you have parents that want to do more. So then they started volunteering with our program, helping with interpreting things of that nature. And that includes 114 languages spoken by OPS families. Students and parents all working hard to make Omaha home. My children and I just love it. and. Uh, it's become the new normal for us. In addition to ESL and pre k classes, there are also citizenship classes and also computer labs and even a sewing lab. For more information on how you can involve, get involved with these programs, either as a student or a volunteer, call the number on your screen near 32nd and Davenport, Shindone, KETV News Watch 7. We're following.